Okay, so we're going to start talking about polygon modeling. Polygon, poly, multi-sided, uh, gone shape. So we're talking about multiple sided shapes. Um, an octagon is an eight-sided shape. A triangle is a three-sided shape. A square rectangle is a four-sided. Pentagon, five. Hexagon, seven. I'm sure I got all this in the right order. <laughs> um, and... Oh, I'm sorry. Hexagon is six. And uh, seven is septagon. <laughs> they all have names. And they get in, you can get into, start getting into some really complex names. But it's all based on the number of sides. In 3D Studio Max, under shapes, you see n-gon. And the n just means it's the variable. I don't know why I didn't call it x-gon, since x tends to be the variable in algebra. But when you click on this shape, it gives you the opportunity to change the number of sides. So if I increase this to eight, I would create obviously an octagon, okay? So polygon modeling means that we're going to work with the polygons that are um, inherent in objects to modify them to create new models. So I have created here a just a standard box. This is just a box. Um, and I've made it 100 by 100 by 50. And I've given it 10 length segments, 10 width segments, and 5 height segments. So that what ends up happening is my polygons, this is a polygon, right? It's a four-sided shape. The polygons are, are squares. And it just was going to make it a little bit easier during this explanation to start with that. Okay, so once I have set up my basic uh, primitive, I'm going to select it. It's already selected. Right click on it and convert it to an editable poly. And what that means is it now has polygons that are editable in the polygon modeling mode. It does not at present. Um, you can also click up here on the box and make it an editable poly. There's also a modifier that will do this, but for now go ahead and convert it. Now understand that once you have converted it, you have lost the capacity to edit the box as a box. I can't change the height, I can't change the segments, so be pretty sure that once you've converted it, you're good. Because I can't, you see the, the box is gone. And I'm going to expand this up here so you can see that I have uh, vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element. And I also have them down here. Vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element. Now, vertex, when I select on, click on vertex, it automatically turns all the vertices that are part of that editable poly to uh, blue. So I can now see them. They, they stand out for me here. Now, polygon, uh, I mean, uh, vertex, same as we worked with in our um, splines, is a point on a line. And that point, in this case, let's just pick this one. Um, when I select it, it's going to turn from blue to red. I can then use any of my tools over here, my select and move, my select and rotate, and uh, it's not really going to do anything with that, but I can still use the Selecting Uniform Scale. I can use those um, to move these points around. See, I'm picking that up, and it's moving the model to go with the point. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Um, I can select multiples with my crossing window. I can remove uh, some from the selection set by holding the Alt key. So I don't want that one. I can remove it by clicking on it, that one. Uh, I would have to go through all of these and make sure if I wanted to remove my corners. You can select one and hold down the Control key and select others. And whenever you, whatever's in your selection set will be red. 
you can also, I'm going to select the one right in the middle here. And you see under, under my toolbar over here, I, it says shrink and grow. If I select grow, you're going to see it begins to, let me zoom in here so you can see this. Okay, so let me go back and select the one in the middle. You can see the red selected right there. When I hit grow, it grows around what's there. It grows the selection set outward. If I tell it to shrink it, it shrinks my selection set. And you just kind of want to play around with those tools a little bit to get comfortable with selection. Um, we don't, we can't, let's see, I don't think it lets me do ring or, nope, it doesn't let me do ring or loop. Um, this ignore back facing. So if I check this and I decide I'm going to select all the, let's, let's do this, let's go inside here. I'm going to select all of these on the inside you'll see that it's only selected the ones on that face and it hasn't selected the ones on the back. They're not, they're not selected. If I had, I'm going to uncheck that and do it again. If I select that on that front side, it's also selecting the ones on the back side. Okay, so ignoring back facing allows you to make selections on one side. Say I want to do something with just these polygons right here. If I don't check ignore back facing, it selected the ones on the back. This is the front over here. If I check it and I just want to select just those polygons, I mean those vert vertices, it's only selected the ones on the front. The ones on the back are not selected. So that's what that allows me to do. So that, that is uh, vertices. Now you can, um, there's more, right? We can edit our vertices. We can edit the geometry. Um, and that includes in, in adding in vertices. We can, um, let's see, this is all advanced stuff. We're not going to get into any of this advanced stuff until we get into upper level classes. Okay, yeah, we won't work with any of this. I'm just going to close it all. Okay, so we'll, we'll get into this, but I want to first cover what these others are, and then we'll start to get into how you use those to edit your model. Okay, so um, that is the vertex mode. Now, if I come over and I click and I switch to edge mode, edge mode, and then I select my model, that is an edge. It is one segment of a polygon. I can uh, ring. You see how it selects all the um, edges that go in a ring around the object. Select it again. I can loop it. It selects all the ones around the objects, around the object in that direction. Um, I can grow my selection set. I can shrink it. Same thing with ignore back facing. If I just want to select, say I want to just select these four, I can turn on the ignore back facing. Just select those four. I'm sorry, there's not four there, there's more than that. If I just want to select those, um, and I want to do it with a crossing window, this will turn off the ones on the back. I'm only selecting the ones on the front. Now, if I hold down my Alt key, on my keyboard, I can remove anything out of that selection set that I don't want. And these two work with my move, rotate, and scale. Um, let's, let's select some ones on the, on the top here. Um, let's select um, loop. Okay, now what I can do is I'm going to come over here to my Select and Uniform Scale, and I'm going to Scale, and you see that that allows me to make adjustments to my model. If I move that selection set, 
it too makes changes and adjustments to my model. Okay. We're going to come back to what a border is. And then we're going to talk next about polygon modeling, and we're going to do that in the next video.